This is the forefront of what's going on in neurosurgery. I think having technologies that use state-of-the-art imaging techniques being combined, having functional information about the brain is, is now a capability in the setting of an operating room. It's no longer something we do as a diagnostic tool. We can actually use it to help a patient. Never have we done a joint process before to join OR and MRI. It's been a, a, an effort for three years and, and it's finally coming together and we're very excited. The neurosurgical program has undergone uh, a fairly large merger. We are now a group of neurosurgeons that are over 30 strong. We've been able to organize eight total ORs that are new. Two rooms are specifically housed in such a way that the MRI can be used in both of those rooms. And the advantage of that is that we can safely utilize interoperative MRI in a setting that is not usually very conducive. Now, Travis is a young man who unfortunately developed a primary brain tumor in his late teenage years. I was 17. All of a sudden, I uh, woke up a morning and I couldn't really see out of my eyes. This could have been many other things, and it turned out that that night I did an MRI, and that night they also called me back to the hospital and I had an operation the next day. I operated on him probably about six years ago. We took the tumor out and he was disease-free until just recently. I was in Germany to do my master's degree at Hamburg University, and it just turned out that when I did the second MRI there, they just told me that the tumor was growing. I was thinking about doing the operation in Germany, because um, it's easy to do, but luckily, I decided to just go home because I know that uh, Dr. Shapiro is a very good doctor here, so that's, that's how I ended up here. You know, after what we thought we had taken everything out that there was still was tumor. So then we went back and resected more tumor and then verified we had taken it all out. The, the Emrys uh, suite has worked uh, flawlessly. It's very easy. As far as I had understood when he gave the definite, when he was explaining it to me, is that it's kind of like an MRI except for it's something that they can do during the operation. Um, so they're able to look more into detail on where things are at. They can go further into the operation and, of course, helping with it uh, going quicker. As far as him ha having this extra technology with Emerus, you know, it was uh, something that just stood out to me even more. And so I became, I had an interest in doing my operation once again here in Indianapolis with Shapiro. This is the first intraoperative MRI machine in the whole state of Indiana. It's one of approximately 20 in the whole United States. So we're really on the cutting edge. In years past, we would have to actually, after we did the surgery on the patient, close them up, wheel them downstairs, have the magnet come in and scan them, and then look and see if we'd gotten it all. Then have to bring them up for another surgery on another day. The advantages of using interoperative navigation is that by touching a probe on the surface of the brain, on the surface of the skull, we're able to localize where it is in reference to a patient's anatomy, like on his MRI scan. The surgeon will point with this instrument and he can see exactly where he's at on the scan in relationship to where the brain tumor is that we want to reset. The biggest achievements in this merger is to get some of the brightest minds in neurosurgery together and I think we have the capability with our individual expertise from uh, the two groups that have merged to utilize research protocols, utilize this technology for education purposes. It's a relatively new concept and we're developing protocols on how we can use it in the uh, OR to take care of our patients better in neurosurgery. I am personally excited about this and professionally excited because we're making history for Indiana University Health.